Wow, this has been some start from the world number 19. Another. Well, what a game that was from Veronica Kinematova. Oh, well, that's a little bit of a gift. Kinematova's birthday's in April, but there's an early <laughs> present from Pagula. Now it's a top quality point. Pagula being super aggressive off the set. Now both players coming forward with real authority. Tidy tennis from Pagula with those volleys. Well, we said there'd be no panic, and there certainly was no panic from Pagula. A superb response from the American. On cue, talking about great tennis. How about that backhand? Lock 15. I can just... I'm looking for a reaction here, no doubt. Could have been over, and it's a fine way to start this game. Oh, we'll try the subtlety on the backhand. Heard the oohs and the ahs. Wow. And that forehand had flames on it. Second set point for Kudamatova. Well, you almost thought it might be coming from Pagula. She's missed so many first serves, and the pressure on the second serve finally gets to her. But that's another brilliant set of tennis from Kudamatova once again winning a brutal tight set of tennis as she has done so many times this week takes the opener 7-5 in 54 minutes uh, whether she can just rein it back in And that breaker serve won't help the emotions for Pagula. Rubbing salt into the wound, Kudamatova. Oh, did oh. not hold back. Playing with real conviction in the big moments as she has done throughout this final. Veronica Kudamatova is terrific in Tokyo as she becomes the Pan Pacific Open champion. And you have to say, what a turnaround for the world number 19. Didn't have much form coming in to this tournament, but produced stunning match after stunning match. And once again, takes down another top 10 opponent to claim the title. Gets the better of Jessica Pagula, 7-5-6-1 in a quite brilliant display of attacking tennis.